Adam here with Symmetry Trailers and uh, wanted to showcase one of our newest builds here before it leaves. Um, this is one we just wrapped up this week and he's coming to pick it up today. So before it took off, I wanted to make sure we shot a video of it, kind of showed you guys some of the special features that uh, we're working on and some new things, some new products and upgrades to the trailers that we have going on. So um, this one is one of our Rovers, which is our biggest model. Uh, this one here is done in the dark gray called Pirate Classic with the bed liner coating. Um, some of the special features on this one, uh, 31 inch tires, it's got 3,500 pound timber and suspension underneath. Um, it does have uh, 12 inch electric brakes on it. Uh, it has the tongue box on the front with the fridge slide that comes out the passenger side and doors on both sides. Also has the two front doors here for access to the front compartment and then the tailgate in the rear um, for opening that up. In the rear, we've got dual batteries, a 30 gallon uh, water tank. <clears throat> we've got uh, the electrical system with the inverter and the battery trickle charger. And then uh, we've got the water pump and the shower head on this one for him to be able to run water out the back. Um, the rovers are available with either the skeleton rack like this one, the basic rack for the rooftop tent, or you can have the option of adding this enclosed cab up on top of here. Um, for kind of a double decker storage. Um, he opted for just the basic rack here and then to have the storage underneath the tent there available also. But the feature I wanted to showcase this morning in the video was this uh, fold down on awning mount that we have available on all three of our models. Um, show how it worked on this one before it took off for the day. Um, this is available, like I said, on all three of our models. Um, we can do it on the Nomad and the Ute also. But uh, on this Rover, you can kind of see we've got a lot more length to be able to handle these longer awnings like this, these 270s. And so I uh, wanted to show you guys how that works this morning. Um, very simple. We made it to where it's a one person um, ordeal. You guys know most of you have probably an awning on your vehicle or have had an awning and know that uh, these things have to be up pretty high to be able to use them, to be able to walk underneath them. Um, and that cuts down on your gas mileage, cuts down on um, uh, wear causes more wind drag and so we wanted to um, create a, a simple system for that to be able to stow away while you're driving and then when you get to your campsite you can flip that up. Um, this just has the three arms that attach to the rooftop tent rack. Um, you've got three pins in here. You pull the pins, set them on the trailer. Flip it up in the center. In it. And then it's ready to go. Um, we can put any awning on this. Uh, we can use the 270s, the 180s, or even the straight out awnings. Um, if you have your own awning already that you've purchased for your vehicle, um, we can you can send that to us and we can put it on your trailer and have it ready to go. Or if you don't have an awning yet, we are a dealer for a couple different companies that we can go ahead and uh, um, put one on there for you and have it ready when you pick up your trailer. So, And then it's just the reverse to be able to take it back down. You pull your pins. Typically leave the center one for the last. And then it's ready to go. So yeah, uh, that one's not available on our website yet, but if you're interested in that fold down awning mount on your trailer, um, just let us know when you contact us about our trailer and uh, we can get that put on the quote for you. Um, any questions on that, simtrailers.com, S-Y-M-trailers.com. And uh, just shoot us a message and we'll, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So 
Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys later.